In this video, we look at the algebraic theory of monoids and their relation to categories. As we have shown before, a category A can be thought of as a reflexive directed graph, which means it has vertices, which represent its objects, and arrows, which represent its morphisms. The reflexivity comes from the existence of identity morphisms for each vertex. If we restrict our focus to only the endomorphisms, we will show that each set of endomorphisms naturally has the algebraic structure of a monoid. While for any two objects, x and y, there is a set denoted by a x, y, on which the monoid associated to the domain acts on the right, and the monoid associated to the codomain acts on the left. We first give a more formal definition of such sets. Given objects x and y in a category A, the collection of amorphisms from x to y is called the Hom set of x and y, and is denoted by a x y. Note that in other places you may see Hom x y for this set, and Hom is just short for homomorphism, another term for what we call morphisms. We now recall the definitions of monoids and monoid actions. One. A monoid M is a set equipped with a null area operation E, which means an element E and M, or equivalently a set map, also denoted by E, from a singleton set to M, which picks out the element E, and a binary operation, and we use a bullet to denote this, called multiplication. And these operations satisfy the following axioms. A for each element M in M, E times M is equal to M, and M times E is equal to M, and B for each triple of elements m1, m2, and m3 in m, m1 times the quantity m2 times m3 is equal to the quantity m1 times m2 times m3. A is called the identity law, and B is called the associativity law. And two, given a monoid m, a left, respectively right, m action on a set x is a set map, phi, from m times x to x, respectively psi, from x times m to x, such that a phi e x is equal to x, respectively psi x e is equal to x for each element x in x, and b phi m1 times m2 x is equal to phi m1 phi m2 x, respectively psi x m1 times m2 is equal to psi psi x m1 m2 for each pair of elements m1 and m2 in m, and for each element x in x. We can now show what we alluded to before. If a is a category and x is an a object, then the set of endomorphisms on x is a monoid. The proof is to show that setting e to be the identity on x and multiplication as composition gives us a monoid structure, since the identity axiom and the associativity axioms for a category coincide with the axioms for a monoid given above. Then as a corollary, we have that a monoid is the same as a one-object category. We also have that each HOM set, A, X, Y, admits a canonical left and Y action and a right and X action. We see that the following actions are given as follows. We define the left and Y action on the HOM set, A, X, Y, by assigning a Y endomorphism H and a morphism F from X to Y to the composition H, F and the right and x action by assigning a morphism f from x to y and an x endomorphism g to fg. It is straightforward to show that these assignments satisfy the axioms for monoid actions. Then returning to the diagram, we see that conceptually a category is a collection of monoids with sets of compatible transitions between them, i.e. the HOM sets, on which they act. We will return to the idea of a category consisting of certain well-behaved actions when we discuss pre-sheaves and the Yoneda lemma.